All right, guys. So here's my beta fish, and I just put him in here a couple days ago. As you can see, he kind of had his gills uh, pushed out, looking at the wall. He's kind of been going around, kind of attacking the mirrored reflection of him in the uh, glass there. As you can see, him doing kind of right now. He'll get used to that after a few days and stop doing that. But when they're put into a square tank like this that reflects, and they can see themselves, sometimes they'll kind of a, uh, you know, think it's another fish. But after a few days to a week, they should uh, ignore that and realize that it's not another fish. But this is his tank. I've got another care video on how to care for betas, which I'll put in the description. But just since I'm showing it again, I'll talk a little bit about this. Uh, my, most people keep betas incorrectly, um, but basically what you need is pretty much a standard setup fish tank. It can be small. This one's just 2.6 gallons, but you need proper filtration. You need a heater, uh, and you need low water movement. Those are the three basic things you need, and lots of plants. They like plants. Uh, to hide in plants. Sometimes they'll sit on the leaves. So it should be a planted tank with a good filter, a heater, and um, like I said, low water movement. Then the plants help keep the water movement down. I've got my tank, I think, around about 78 if it'll focus here. And you're going to want it around 78, even up into the low 80s. If your house is around 70 degrees, that's too low for them. You definitely need a heater in there. But we got this guy locally. It's been pretty cold in the winter, and I was looking online and found some really cool looking ones online. But uh, I was kind of worried to buy one with how cold it's been, and since it's uh, you know winter right now. Found this guy in the store, and he looks pretty darn cool, so we went ahead and got him. Like I said, I had him for a few days. He seems healthy. And his tail, as you can see, looks pretty darn cool. <coughs> Still just trying to attack himself there. But I just want to do a little update. People have been asking me when I was going to put him in here. This is a Fluval Spec 3 tank. It's got a huge filter in back. And uh, I've got a heater, which you can't see in the tank. It's also in the back section. Behind this black wall, there's the filter and heater back there. And uh, i got a Hydor Theo 25 watt heater in there. So I'll just show the fish a little bit. And I've given him some food. That's about. It's actually more than I would usually give. I usually just give two to three pellets a day. Lots of people also overfeed. You don't want to feed too much. They really don't need that much. Just a couple little pellets a day is all they need. If you overfeed them, the water quality can get bad and they can die pretty quickly. So just a couple of those circle pellets a day or whatever food you're using, a small amount. Look at that. His tail's like green and orange and black and blue. Pretty cool looking. Anyways, if you guys have any questions about beta care, let me know and check out my other video as well. I'll put it in the description, like I said, where I talk more about, uh, you know, tank setup and what you're going to need. So, there he is. Happy pet keeping. We'll see you all later.